What to do, YouTube? Jabarkus Manny's Jabby Mail CD. Uh, back with some more uh, Petite Brabancon. Apparently, someone uploaded this. It's a little bit on the download. <laughs> Maybe it's not supposed to be uploaded. Um, a praying man. A praying man. Less. That. So far, man. This is like a perfect band for me because I've liked. I liked all three of the songs that we checked out already. I liked them all. So I'm expecting this one. I'm expecting to like it, especially because it's, it's, you know, it's, it's underground shit. You know, <laughs> it's, it's the good stuff, that, uh, the good stuff that they didn't want to come out. So <laughs> I'm expecting to enjoy this one. A praying man. Let's, uh, let's jump into it. Something drums, I like it. That's a that's a dark a deep tone. It's hot. My God, I was I was actually gonna say like around here. I was like, mm, it's okay, it's okay. I knew I. That's why I didn't say nothing yet because I knew I knew something was coming. I knew something was coming. I, I had a feeling. I had a feeling. I could feel it in my jimmies. I could feel it in my jimmies that something was coming. This part here, listen. What does that sound like? It reminds me of something that's on the tip of my tongue. Ah, it reminds me of something. Uh, it's going to piss me off that I can't remember what it reminds me of. It's going to make me mad because I. it's right there. It's right there. I could, I could taste it. But I can't, uh, I can't, I can't say what it is. I don't even... Uh, Ah, oh, I hate when that happens, man. I hate. It, it, never mind. It sounds like something. It reminds me of something. It it, it ev ev evokes invokes evokes um, memories of something, but I can't remember what they are. But then, that that transition. If that part, if that was like, I would have liked that a little bit better. I don't know if I was, if I was, uh, out of tune there, <laughs> but you know what I mean? I would like, uh, and then they go on with like the, the rest normally. I felt like that would have been kind of better. Um, but that also reminds me of something that I can't remember. This. I think he said, a pretty man, a pretty man. 
I like how that build up, there was like two different things playing on each side and they were both like progressively getting more and more like, you know, like bubbling up and up and up until like the end of that. I like that. It was interesting. I like that double up. I like that. The harmony. Ooh. This chorus is fire as fuck, bro. Ooh. A little extra with it. That song fucking that resonated with me man like just for like it's the stupidest reason it resonated with me but it just did it just did it resonated with me so hard dude it just resonated with like it really did That, this was, this was like, I mean, I'm going to sound ridiculous, but really, it reminded me of whenever I first heard Linkin Park. Now, I'm not saying this song sounded like Linkin Park. It, there's some sort, there's some parts of it that did remind me of Linkin Park. But whenever I first heard Linkin Park, you know, uh, Hybrid Theory, when that joint, when that joint released... That like completely changed my life, bro. That that song completely changed my life because it opened my ears to a music, a style of music that I hadn't really listened to before. Cause before that album, I was listening to uh pop, you know, hip hop and country. <laughs> uh, I'm from the South, man. Come on. Uh my dad only listens to country, so um so I was that Lincoln Park it really sort of just changed my life because um it introduced me to this this different sort of music that I I wasn't um I wasn't used to um and like I, that that feel this song kind of brought me back there brought me back there I'm sitting there and I think it was 3rd grade I think 
I can't remember. It was whenever that's whenever that album dropped. I think it was like third grade for me, um, and it just brought me back there, man. And I I could just remember just like late nights, rainy nights, throwing on a hybrid theory, just listen to that junk all the way through. It's just I got that same like emotional response to that, and I don't know why, but there was just something about. There's something about the combination of stuff going on in this song. Just it brought me back, man. And so that I don't know, man. I really felt that one, man. I don't know what the fuck the song is about. <laughs> I'm just saying it. You know, it, it, it resonated with me, man. Hell yeah, this this is a good one. That chorus. That chorus. That chorus was hot. That chorus was hot, bro. Oh my god. Yeah, dude. These guys are just they're just on to something. They're they're on to something. They know they know something, man. They got the keys. They unlocked the door. They they know. They I, they just know something, man. Something that we don't know. They know something that we don't know and they and they're they're giving it to us. And I you can't ask for more than that, man. You can't ask for more than that. Petite Brabham and Calm, man. They hot, man. They hot. They, they just, they good. Everything, everything they've released so far has been hot. I'm, I, I don't even know what else to say, man, except I, I'm so excited for the next one. So excited for the next one. When's the next one coming out, man? Y'all let me know. Y'all let me know. Y'all gotta let me know when the next one drops, because, man, they're, like really, I I almost would rather listen to a Petite Brabancon album than a Duran Gray album right now. I was like that's that's wild, cause I'm really interested in this in this new Duran Gray album. But this this Petite Brabancon man, they're doing something, they're doing something, man. It's fucking me up, and I like it in a good way, in a good way. <laughs> y'all let me know what y'all think of this one man let me know if it resonated with you in the third grade <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one hopefully the next one soon we'll see see ya